Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Samson of Channel, the channel where we spread hope from song stories and sharing opportunities. Today I want to do a little story time. I want to be talking about my new life as a full-time working mom. My life now as a full-time working mom versus when I was a stay-at-home mom. Was I ready for this new life? Don't forget to hit like. Please like this video already. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click on the notification bell so that you can receive updates when I upload new videos. Yes, it's a bit of a story and I hope you enjoy it. And sometimes I just feel like throwing them out there because I believe it can help one or two people, especially those who are trying to relocate and they are finding it worth or they are uncertain about what the future holds coming to a new country like we did. So that's why sometimes I like sharing some of these things and I hope it blesses you. I hope God uses it to meet you at the point of your needs. And I hope you like it. So what I'll be discussing today is we're going to be gauging if I was ready for my new life as a working mom. So when I mean working mom, I mean like as a full-time working mom working 40 hours a week with little kids. Just a little bit of context, especially for those who are watching me for the first time who do not know where I'm making this video from. We moved to the United States in 2016, my husband and I. So when we came into the United States in 2016, we had an 11 month old baby at the time and like I couldn't work because my visa status did not allow me to so I was staying at home basically taking care of our kids and of course for those who intend coming down here to study one of the things you will learn is that daycare expenses can be really huge and that's why even in the environment itself in the United States, they generally everyone just look at what works best for them, for their family because of the cost of childcare. Some parents will prefer to stay home. It could be the mom, usually it will be the mom, or in some cases the husband, depending on who ends more, the person stays at home to take care of the kids. I couldn't stay at home. And that is why it's important for you to know yourself. What works for A may not work for B. For me, I've discovered that I'm happier if I am working. I believe I feel more fulfilled. And staying home 24 seven doesn't look doesn't fit me well isn't emotionally good for me so you have to know what works for you what does not work for you yes like i said this is story time and life update about me was i ready so i told her i moved on from you know staying at home that continued of course for a couple of years since 2016 up until 2019 when I decided that it was time to go back to school. And at the time, I had two kids already in 2019 before I went for my master's. So what happened was, of course, before this time, between 2016 and 2019, trust me, I was doing other things. I was doing a lot of all other things that I could do within the confine of, you know, the home and just a little bit. I had skill. I had skill. I, I was into fashion designing. Of course, I had that skill and, you know, I was doing the bits that I could do with it, with tailoring and everything. So, that's just to tell you that I wasn't really sitting down and doing nothing. No. Seriously, I feel like stay at home moms are doing a really great job. At least I'll give them that kudos. Because I've been there, I've tasted both, especially in this part of the world. You remember I told you that you can daycare is so expensive here. And at some point, if you're relocating, maybe from Africa down here, 
you want to consider a lot of things are we going to be whatever you're earning especially if you didn't have if you don't have a full-time job yet maybe you came in as a student like we did you want to consider a lot of things like okay if we uh, put schooling or one is working do i want to really be pumping this money that i'm earning and it's not so much to take care and then it boils down to strategizing and planning with within this uh, home i mean husband and wife agreeing on what works best for them so 2019 came i went for my master's program and i was a part-time employee in my school because that was what my visa when i changed to f1 allowed so i would i would work 20 hours and of course i was a hard worker they would tell you that because when I was going to have my third baby, I remember I was working and I fell into labor. I, I was actually in labor and I didn't know for hours, several hours. And then one thing led to the other, I had to be rushed to the hospital, but I was working. It's that. <laughs> so I can be like that. I told you that 2019, I started working part-time while I was studying at during my master's program and i finished that in 2020 i was only for a job after my master's in december i graduated december 2020 a lot of things happened i had a lot of um, career decisions to make i was beginning to lean towards a particular career path it wasn't neck deep you know into my field and I started trying things out. I did a, 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 like a certification, see where that gets me and everything. I was just interested in this because I did some programming and I wanted to pursue that. But interestingly, I didn't get a job as quick as I thought I would. And of course, yeah, it was COVID period. Uh, everything people were looking for a job people were losing their jobs and people that even got it got got jobs got employment at the time were losing them before they resumed 2020 i was home after sending in some applications i got some interviews but of course i didn't get a job and i've been home since then all until February 2022 this year. So we located late last year, July 2021, to New York. I was just tired of looking for a job, honestly, about it. I'm not looking for any job again. I just want to be. <laughs> and I can be like that sometimes, you know. I can be really determined. And sometimes when I feel like I've just had my full i need a break i go for it so i just decided well no more looking for jobs i don't care so i was home we were settling in it was a new environment there's a lot of adjusting to do we got the kids settled in to their new school and i had a one year old at the time after settling in that was from um july 31st last year so I think January this year, uh, this year, 2022, I just decided, well, isn't it time to start looking for another job here? At least I've had a break, I've suited myself, I'm good. So I started, I think January or early February, I started searching. And I just saw a position, I'm like, oh, these positions were in New York, we are not in New York City, where you have many positions and, you know, people, yeah, uh, you have many opportunities and everything. And for me, what was key is stability. As much as I love to work, I have a supportive husband who wants me to work, who wants me to be my best, who wants me to, you know, live my life to the fullest. And I'm grateful to God for that. But as much as I wanted that, I wanted to also balance it. I know I have a growing family. And stability was important to me. I didn't want to you know just, okay, because I got a job in New York City, which is one and a half hours away, let's move there. I mean, we went through some of those thinking, okay, what would be the best thing to do? Should we move if I get a job, you know, like two hours away, one and a half hours away, which looks more like 
the prospects, you know, it looks more like the chances are that I'll get better jobs there. But I chose and God has saw um, my sincerity. I didn't look, for, I don't think I looked for a week. No, I did look for some time, maybe a couple of weeks. And then I saw um, this position after seeing, looking at other positions, I saw this position with um, Luven's Health. And I'm like, okay, let's try this out. Let's start from somewhere. So that was me. I just wanted to start from somewhere. I didn't care at the point at that point. <laughs> I mean, that that position was like, um, it's not, I'm a master's degree holder. I didn't care that it wasn't um, commensurate to my degree. Of course I cared, not that I didn't care, but you know, you can't just have it all. Sometimes you have to let some things go for some things. So like I said, family was important for me and I just wanted to get my career started and I felt like, yeah, I could start. It's a full job. And then I started and I was excited, honestly. I was really excited. And if you notice, my presence on YouTube has dwindled a little. Owing to that fact that I started working and I'm, at some point I was just trying to balance things. I'll be like, oh, it's Friday. I have to get content ready, you know, with the pressure of YouTube, algorithm and everything. And then I'll go ahead and get something. Sometimes I am not able to do it, but I want to appreciate you guys for staying true, thick and thin with me staying by me it means a lot to me that you're still here even when it looks like i'm not measuring up i'm not getting the videos out as i should i would have loved to i just want to thank you that you are still here thank you so much it means a lot to me we also we have new subscribers and i want to thank god for that because i'm like Oh my God, this is God. It's not me <laughs> when you're not working. I mean, it's like you're struggling to get videos out and God is still blessing you with viewers and people are watching your videos, subscribing to your channel. It can only be God. Honestly, I don't think one can ever be ready. All I can say is that I was excited. What I'm talking about when I compare my life now to when I was at home, I mean, I needed to get my career started so I can be at my best for my family because when I'm happy and I don't feel like not fulfilled, then my husband and my kids get to have better me. They get to have the better me. They get to enjoy the better me. And honestly, it's been, it's not been without its challenges, definitely. There was a time it was like rocky for me trying to balance okay how do i put these things together how do i do this oh my god this is so challenging and everything but i'm taking it one day at a time yeah a lot of things i've learned i've learned to be better organized even with the kids I'm doing a lot of organization now thank you for staying with me on this life update i really hope it blesses someone if it's not you, maybe it's the next person. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. And please hit like, like, like my video. Bye.